So a simple cocktail with two or three ingredients, like a whiskey mac, an old fashioned, one, one person sees it, the rest will follow. And that's what we've proved, that when, when Paul or Chris are making a cocktail and someone sees it, other people will buy it. So instead of spending 350 on a pint, they're spending seven pounds on a cocktail. Good morning and welcome to Travellers Club. My name is John Herity, I'm the Food and Beverage Manager at Caledonian Club, as you can see. Today we're here to talk about whisky, next year's gin. Now, this probably wasn't a question that anyone would think about five years ago. But do you know how many whiskies, uh, how many gins there are currently? There's over a hundred uh, distillers of whisky, sorry, gin, in Scotland with over 200 expressions of gin. Now you can buy them in your supermarket, your suppliers, now everywhere there's gin at the moment. Now it's a roughly 70% of all the gin sold in Britain comes from Scotland. Now that's huge. Now that is nowadays a 1.2 billion pound industry that's only really kicked off in the last five years. Now, it's big, but it's not whiskey big. Now, and that's what I'm here to talk about today, is more about whiskey, and in now particular, Scotch whiskey. Now, oh, we jumped on there. There's three elements that I would like to you know, help you a little bit today to learn to understand. And that's what is Scotch whisky? What's the effect in the UK economy? And the, the age old question, how do I drink it? How do I enjoy it? Now, so from those three elements, there's all sorts of questions that come up. So just a couple are, how's, Sco uh, how's whisky made? How many whiskies are there? And as I just said there, what do I put in it? How do I enjoy it? Or more importantly, how can your members enjoy it? Because hopefully we, we, we going through this today, you'll see that you can bring it to your club for your members. Now, whiskey's name has come from the Gaelic Ushkaba, which means water of life. Now, this whiskey, all whiskies are made with essentially three ingredients. That's cereals, whether it's barley or grain, water and yeast. But there's one element that you don't add, which is completely essential in all Scottish whiskey, and that is time. For Scotch whiskey to be matured, it has to be in uh, vanilla casks, oak casks, for a minimum of three years. Now, a lot of malt whiskies will go longer than that, but to be even a blended whisky, it will take at least three years. And that's a UK and an EU regulation, so that, that's something that just has to happen. Now, there's six regions in Scotland that produce whisky. So it's the Highlands, Lowlands, Islands, Speyside, Campbelltown and Islay. But all of these have to conform to the three years rule. Now, they will all distill in a different way. Some distill slower, some faster, some will add uh, peat, some will be filtered, some will be chill filtered. After the initial uh, maturation, they'll be putting all their also uh, vats, they'll be putting sherry vats, but they, they all have to have the three years. With the unique selling point, say Glen Goyne, for instance, and I'm going to read this, I know I'm reading about this to get it right. Glen Goyne's bold flavours are the result of an equally bold pledge to coax our spirit through the slowest whisky stills in Scotland. Now they have it slow to extract as much flavour out of it as they possibly can. Now it's, in, in this modern society, where you're just trying to sell, 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 these guys have said, ours will be the slowest. They're proud of that fact, that 
that's the way they produce their whiskey. But whatever way they produce it, it's up to you as consumers, whether you like it, whether your members like it. Now, and from today, hopefully, you'll take back to your clubs a little bit of the whiskey experience that you can give to your members. Because after all, how, how much whiskey do you sell in your clubs? Could you do better? Now, we're going back to what we said, whiskey, there's five different types of whiskey as of the 2009 Scotch Whiskey Regulations, and that's a single malt, blended malt, single grain, blended grain, and blended Scotch whiskey. Now, with the blended Scotch whiskey, you can have up to 50 different grains in that. Now, it's, the way you make whiskey is, is huge, but essentially, all you need is the three elements. Uh-huh. I've just ruined that. <laughs> How many types of whiskey do you think there, there have been or are? 27. <laughs> Funnily enough, no. Anyone? 5,000. Yeah, about over 5,000. Yeah. And that's again, went too far. I'm not very technical, you can see that. Right, so there's over 5,000 whiskeys or have been throughout the years. And those whiskies that... Scottish or is that no, just Scotch whiskey. We're only talking about Scotch whiskey. Now, the American, everything like that, that's, that's completely alien. That's, that's not allowed. But there's been over 5,000 Scotch whiskies. Now, and again, you've just saw the slide, but that's over, do, 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 if I walk this right, 5 billion pounds per year in the British economy. That's what it was in 2017. So out of that five billion, three billion is in tax. So th th there's no end now, that, that's every year that's increased. So that goes into the British government to help everything. Now, if you, for us being in the hospitality industry, that's over 20% of all food and drink exports in Britain. You take that out, now it's a fifth of, of what we export. It's quite mad for, for a small you know, country to, to produce that. So, how do you drink your whiskey? Do you drink whiskey? Uh, do your members drink, I know you don't, do your members drink their whiskey? How do they drink it? Now, we spoke earlier on, if you're buying your whiskey, there's no right or wrong way to enjoy it. If you want it with coke, with lemonade, with soda water, some countries add green tea to the whiskey. But, but it's not for us to say you're right or wrong. If you're buying it, you can put whatever you want in it. It's the same with the members. If they're buying it, which you want them to do, let them what they want in it. It's now in some cases you'll red wine with ice. Now, people's taste buds have changed. Now, do, do, do. so that, to get them enjoy it, now, in comes cocktails. Do you do cocktails at your clubs? No. Now, in, in the Caledonian Club, we didn't do cocktails until this year. No, it was, no, 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 no cocktails. We're a gentleman's club. But we listened to our younger members, male and female, because our younger members today are our chairman and vice chairmen in the future. Now they, they will take the club forward, so we need to listen to them. So a simple cocktail with two or three ingredients, like a whiskey mac, an old fashioned, one, one person sees it, the rest will follow. And that's what we've proved, that when, when Paul or Chris are making a cocktail and someone sees it, other people will buy it. So instead of spending 3 50 on a pint, they're spending seven pounds on a cocktail. Now it will increase your sales, not overnight, not dramatically, but your evening sales, instead of going in and having four pints at £3.50, £4 each, the members will come in and have four or five cocktails at £7 each. And if you've got five or ten of them doing that every week, it helps that night's now takings and their enjoyment uh, in the process. They feel as if they've been listened to, which of course they are. So... Your members will be drinking whiskey at home, so why not at your club? Outside of Scotland, 80 to 85 percent 
of all whisky sales in the UK are outside of Scotland. So they are drinking it in the house, drinking the club. Now, in our place, we've got uh, owners of distilleries who come to the club and drink their own whisky. So we're buying it from them to sell it back to them at a profit for us. It's mad, but that's what they like, that's what they're doing. Now, from a humble drink with only three ingredients, now the cereals, the yeast, the water, to achieve £5 billion worth of sales annually, to create so many jobs, not only here in Britain, but worldwide. Now, for me, it truly is the water of life. It's just a gift that keeps on giving. Because the cereals will regrow, the water will come back, the yeast will regrow, and we've always got time. So this just goes round in a cycle. Now, and as it says there, now, keep calm and drink whiskey. So for me, is whiskey next year's gin? No. It's not this year's gin, next year's gin, or the year after. Gin has got all to do to try and be a whiskey and to get that exclusivity, as we spoke earlier on, how does one brand get to be global? Well, Scotch whiskey's been global since the 1800s. Now, and it's very hard for uh, gin to do that when there's so many countries, France, South Africa, now Denmark, Sweden, doing gins. How do we get the Scottish gins to be a world brand like whiskey? I don't know. Thanks for listening. Yeah, hope I didn't bore you.